Hey, my name is Julius. Uh, I'm going to be demonstrating our Cloud Playout system today. Uh, our Cloud Playout system is a cloud-based uh, solution for creating a 24-7 live linear TV station. Um, the only difference is that this is primarily used for internet delivery, but it can also be used uh, to output to a satellite head end uh, or other kind of uplink. Now we're going to log in over here to the system. Uh, and what you're going to see over here once you log in is a player. Uh, and you're going to notice this is essentially a live player. Uh, so you see there's no scrolling bar. There's no way to go fast, uh, to fast forward or, or rewind uh, through this uh, feed. Um, so this is entirely a, a TV channel experience to the end viewer. Uh, now this can be delivered to either a website, this can be sent to different types of applications, Android, Roku, uh, platforms like that, and as we previously mentioned, this can also be sent uh, to an uplink facility, whether that's a local over-the-air broadcast, satellite, uh, anything really. Uh, you'll see down here what we have is a, a short little snippet of code. This is what can be used to embed this into any website essentially, and that's going to be a multi-device player. Uh, so people are going to visit that, whether it's from their phones, from a web browser, uh, they're going to be able to watch that that stream in real time. Uh, also down here we have an HLS link and this is what you're going to use to embed this into any application. So if you have a Roku application, Android, iOS, uh, all of those platforms will support this URL. Uh, also scrolling down a little bit you'll have some uh, live statistics uh, so you can see in real time how your viewers are trending, how many people are connecting to the stream. Uh, you've got some additional metrics over here like bandwidth usage, uh, total users hits uh, over time so you can kind of get a picture uh, of how many views you're getting, uh, how many people are coming to the stream, uh, and at what times they're watching. Uh, now if we go to the next section, we have this uh, video library over here. So this is going to be where all of your videos are stored, where you're going to upload and manage all of your videos. Uh, there's two ways to manage your videos and to upload new videos uh, to the system. Uh, one is through this web browser over here, so you can actually just sign into this portal. Uh, you can upload a file by clicking that button and selecting from one of your, your own videos from your computer over here, uh, or you can manage your videos over here by deleting uh, individual files. Now the other way to do it is through an FTP uh, client. So if you use something like FileZilla or another commercially available um, FTP client, uh, you can use the server information that we provide uh, to sign into that uh, video library and you can batch upload files or you can uh, manage your folders, manage your files. It gives you some additional uh, functionality that you can take advantage of. Now whenever you upload a file it's going to show up over here. Uh, so you're going to see your, your folders at the top and all of your different video files that you've uploaded over here. Uh, and if you click on any of these, you're going to be able to, to watch a sample stream of them. So you'll see a test player over here. Uh, you, can, you can go through, just like any video on demand file, you can go through it, make sure that everything's working okay, um, and, and test that video. Uh, also, if you have any folders, you can manage your content. For example, as an example here, we have an ads folder. So if you want to manage your content, keep, keep it more organized. Folders are a good way to do that. Uh, and of course, all of your videos appear there as well. Now, of course, the, the main functionality of this is being able to use all of these videos, string them together into a 24-7 playlist that to the viewer is going to look like any other TV channel. Uh, and the way you're going to do that is through the Playout Manager section over here. Now, that's... Uh, that's going to have all of your days of the week organized, and you'll see over here we have it organized Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We have it uh, seven days of the week, but of course you can also schedule for longer if you want. Uh, and basically what you can do is you can click on the Manage button next to any of these playlists, uh, and you can create a, a playlist uh, a schedule that's going to play out uh, throughout the course of that day. So what we're going to do here is we're going to select all the different files that we want to use in this day's playlist. Uh, now typically you want that to be around 24 hours, but you don't have to uh, upload a single file multiple times. For example, you want, might want to use an advertisement uh, a number of times. You don't have to upload that file multiple times on that next screen. We're going to show you how to duplicate those files. So you click next, uh, and this is going to be all of the files that you selected. And what you can do, for example, is if I want to say duplicate this file, I can click that green button uh, next to it, and that's going to create a copy of that in our playlist. Uh, and after that, to create my schedule, I'm just going to drag and drop that file uh, into any position. So, for example, if we have, uh, you know, typically how our customers do it is they have TV shows, maybe they have some films, some longer form content, and then they have some promotional videos, some advertisements. Uh, and those are kind of sprinkled throughout the broadcast uh, in an organized fashion. Uh, at the bottom over here, you're going to see the total playlist time, and that's going to be the total time that that playlist occupies. 
Uh, typically, you want that to be exactly 24 hours so that your, your playlist uh, plays back seamlessly throughout the course of the day. Uh, but you can also make that 8 hours or 12 hours or, or some multiple of 24. And what our system is going to do is it's going to loop that playlist uh, during the day as many uh, times as, as uh, it can fit into that 24-hour block before it moves on to the next day. So we're going to save and finish over here. And now we've got this playlist created. Uh, now what we can do is we can click on this view button next to that playlist to see an accurate schedule. And now, so for, for demonstration purposes, we didn't fill out this whole playlist, but normally you would have 24 hours of content here, and you're going to see exactly when each of these programs is set to air. So you know the exact time uh, when that program is going to go live, and you can create an accurate schedule for your viewers to know exactly when they have to turn into that uh, broadcast, uh, because it is a, a, they're going to be viewing it in real time when they need to tune in to, to catch that programming. Uh, so if we close this, uh, so now we've created our playlist. Now we can go through through all these different days, create a, a playlist uh, ahead of time. Uh, but what we can also do is, if you uh, if you have a live event, if you have any sort uh, any sort of live broadcast that you want to insert into this, um, we have that functionality as well. Uh, and you'll see over here we have a button that says "Switch to Live Event." What that's going to let you do is you're going to have a separate publishing point uh, where you can push a live broadcast to. Uh, so you're going to be playing your linear feed. Um, people are going to be watching it and then if you want to go live you just click that button uh, you start streaming from an encoder and what our system is going to do is it's going to switch to that live broadcast uh, so that the viewers watching on all the different devices um, switch from that that uh, video on demand content to the live content of course for them it's going to be seamless they're not going to know the difference uh, so we've clicked that button it's going to take a couple seconds uh, un until it transitions over um, but the whole process is seamless so anyone that's watching this channel on any device is going to see that switch uh, happen instantly as soon as uh, the system adjusts. So you'll see it, it just switched uh, to the live broadcast. So this is coming from a separate source. This isn't coming from one of the recorded video on demand uh, sources. This is an actual live uh, broadcast that we're inserting here for test purposes. Um, but of course, for anyone that's watching this through this embed code or, or through this URL from one of the, uh, the other client devices is going to have noticed this transition and is going to be viewing the live feed now. And that sums up our playout system.